Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 42, Quadratic Simultaneous Equations in my Edexcel IGCC exam series. If you find it useful, please like the video, subscribe if you're not already. Let's get into the maths. Let's do it. All right, long questions, these ones, but very formulaic, very accessible. So first step is to make sure that your linear equation is in the form of y equals or x equals, which it already is. Fantastic. So we take what y is equal to and we pop that into the y for the quadratic. So we write 2x squared plus 3, and not y anymore, but 2x plus 1 squared is equal to 5. We'll then need to do 2x plus 1 squared, so I'll do it on the side over here, and we'll get 4x squared we'll get plus 2x plus 2x plus 1. So that's 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. We then need to multiply that by 3. So that's going to give us 12x squared plus 12x plus 3, and that's equal to 5. We can then simplify by adding these x squares together. And subtracting 5 from both sides is going to give me minus 2 here, and that's equal to 0. Okay, now we've got a quadratic that we need to solve, and I'm going to do it by factorising. I'm going to do it by using the AC method. So A times C is 14 times minus 2, because this is the A, this is the C, and this is the B. So we're going to get 14 times minus 2, which is minus 28. And the B term is going to be 12. So we're looking for two numbers that times together to make minus 28 and add to make positive 12. Those two numbers are 14 and minus 2. Yeah. Now, because the a term is 14, I write 14x, 14x, all divided by 14. And because these two numbers in green here uh, are 14 and minus 2, I write uh, 14 and I write minus 2. Okay, and now what I could do is I could divide through by 14, and I could divide the whole of this one by 14, which is going to give me x plus 1. And over here, it's going to give me 14x minus 2. That equals 0. And this is going to give me that x is equal to minus 1. And this is going to give me that 14x is going to equal 2. So x is equal to 2 over 14, which is 1 over 7. Okay, great. I've got my two x values. But now what I need to do is find the corresponding y values. So I go up to the top, and I should have a ready-made formula to work out the y's. And it's right there. I double the x's and I plus 1. So I go to my calculator and I double the x and then I plus 1. And that gives me minus 1. So y equals minus 1. And over here I had 1 over 7. And I double that and then I add 1. And that gives me 9 over 7. And we're done. Hello. I've just realised that I could have made a um, I could have made it slightly simpler by at this stage I could have divided everything by two, and if I would have done that would have given me seven x squared plus six x minus one equals zero. That might have been a slightly more easy quadratic to solve, but nevertheless we would have still got the same answers anyhow. But it would be a good idea to look for that possibility of dividing a whole quadratic by a, by a factor if it's equal to zero, and that might make it slightly easier. Okay, let's move on. Okay, next question, and we have a line and we have a curve, and we're asked to show what the coordinates are of the intersection of these two. Well, essentially this is just a solve a simultaneous equation question, but a bit fancier in the way it's worded. 
So the linear one is already y equals, so that's great. So I'm just going to replace the y's in the quadratic one with 9 minus x. So I write x squared minus 3x, not y anymore, but 9 minus x, plus 2 lots of, not y anymore, but 9 minus x squared equals 0. I'm going to have to square that 9 minus x, so I write it out like this. And that's going to give me 81. It's going to give me minus 9x. It's going to give me minus 9x. And it's going to give me plus x squared. So I could write that as x squared minus 18x plus 81. OK, great. So let's go x squared. And multiplying out this bracket is going to give me 27x, sorry, minus 27x. And it's going to give me 2 minuses, it's going to make a plus, so plus 3x squared. And I'm going to get two lots of this expansion over here. So I'm going to get 2x squared minus 36x plus 162 equals 0. Okay, let's collect like terms. I've got 6x squared. And I've got uh, minus minus 27x minus 36 which is minus 63x and I've only got that one constant term of 162 okay right I'm not going to make the same mistake again I've spotted here I can divide everything through by 3 so I will do that that will give me 2x squared minus 21x and 162 divided by 3 is 54. Okay, let's use the AC method to factorize this. So A, B and C. AC is going to equal 2 times 54 which is 108 and b is going to equal minus 21. So my two numbers uh, both have to be negative because they times to make a positive but they add to make a negative and I'm going to go with minus 12 and minus 9. I think that works. Yes it does. So I write 2x and 2x and all over 2 and that's all because the a term is 2. And then I write in uh, minus 12 and minus 9. I could divide the left-hand bracket by 2. So I'll do that to get x minus 6. And that will cancel the 2 on the bottom. And 2x minus 9. And this is all equal to 0, of course. And this is going to give me that x equals 6. And this is going to give me that 2x equals 9. So x is equal to 4.5. Okay, let's go back up and use our ready-made formula for y. So y is 9 minus the x value. So 9 minus 6 is 3, and 9 minus 4.5 is 4.5. And uh, top tip, we could go um, into menu down to um, equation, uh, polynomial degree 2, and we can solve that original quadratic we, we found, which was 6 minus 63 and 162, and we get 6 and 4.5. Very good. Okay, final question. A uh, tricky one, because we have a curve and a straight line and they intersect at A and B, find the coordinates of the midpoint. OK, so where they intersect is the solution to the simultaneous equation. So let's start with the linear. This time it's not set up for us as y equals or x equals, but a very easy switch by adding 6x to both sides puts it in the form where we can substitute. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace the y in this curve with a 6x. So instead of writing y equals, I write 6x equals. And this gives me 10x minus 3, uh, x plus 1. I'll expand these brackets. 
to get 10x squared plus 10x minus 3x minus 3. Uh, 10x minus 3x is 7x. So I can write this. And then subtracting 6 from both sides, or sorry, 6x from both sides, gives me 10x squared plus x minus 3. And I'm going to factorize that using the AC method. So AC is equal to 10 times minus 3, which is minus 30. And B is equal to just 1. So those two numbers are positive 6 and negative 5. They add to make 1. They times to get minus 30. That works good. And because we've got a 10 in the A, we write 10x, 10x, all over 10. And we have um, plus 6. And we have minus 5. Now 10 doesn't go into either of those two perfectly, so we can split 10 up into 2 and 5, which means I can divide the left one by 2 and the right one by 5, and that will work nicely. So that's going to give me 5x plus 3, and that's going to give me 2x minus 1. And again, sorry, equals 0, equals 0. So um, one of these brackets will equal 0. So we will have 5x will equal minus 3, which means x will equal minus 3 over 5. Or we will have 2x equals 1, so x will equal 1 half. Now we need to find the corresponding y values. And the y values are just 6 times the x. That's nice and easy. So this y value times that by 6 will give you minus 18 over 5. And this y value times that by 6 will give you 3. OK, uh, what did the question actually ask? It says work out the midpoint of the AB. OK, so the midpoint is the um, average of the x's. So minus 3 over 5 plus a half over 2. And the average of the y's. So minus 18 over 5 plus uh, 3 all over 2. OK, so to the calculator we go. And I'm completely messing this up. OK, um, so minus 3 over 5 is minus 0 0.6, might be quicker, plus 0.5 equals that. Divide that by 2 and we get minus 0 0.05. And then uh, we have minus 18 over 5 and then we're adding on 3 and then we're dividing that by 2 and that gives me minus 0 0.3. And we're done. OK, uh, that's quadratic simultaneous equations finished. If you do find that useful, please do like and subscribe. Move on to the next topic. I will see you there. Bye for now.